Hey everybody, it's me Dana, aka Triple C, and guess what? It's tutorial time! That's right, so grab your yarn, grab your hooks, and let's get started! Okay, for this tutorial, you're gonna need 315 yards of worsted weight yarn. I'm using Karen Simply Soft, and I'm gonna use one skein of this, guys. It's this gonna be perfect for zero to three months. I also have a pair of scissors, so grab that up too, guys. Don't forget a yarn needle so you can weave in those ends. And the hook for today is going to be a five millimeter hook. I'm using clover a more. You don't have to use clover more, you can use whatever you have on hand. So let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna start off with a chain of 54, guys, okay? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. 10, I'm gonna pull a little more yarn out so I can have more. 51, 52, 53, and 54. All right guys, so we have 54 chains. And if you ever wanna check out any of my other tutorials, guys, feel free to look in my tutorial playlist and you can find all my other tutorials. I have stitch help and I have help with adding machines and um, my central knitting machines as well, Tunisian crochet and small projects. After you have your chain of 54, you're going to kind of rub your hand down like so. I always kind of just make sure I rub my hand down my chain, making sure I have all my stitches in order so they're not twisted. We don't want a twisted chain, okay? So continue all the way down because we're going to join with a slip stitch. So continue going all the way down. Once we get down to the very end, we're going to fold it over like so until with a back of the chain is showing and we want to slip stitch now so we're going to just join in here into the first chain that we started with and join with a slip stitch just like so we're going to insert the hook okay and then we're going to yarn over and pull through both loops and there we go that's our chain, that's our join of our slip stitch. So to start this baby poncho, we're going to begin with a chain of three. One, two, and three. We're going to then, in the same chain that we joined, place two more double crochets. So we're gonna do one double crochet here, and then two double crochets. This is the second one. All right, so we should have a chain of three that we're gonna count as a double. And then we have the two double crochets. Now, we wanna create a corner in this spot. So we're gonna chain two. One, two. Now, we're going to do three double crochets in the same exact chain that we just did the last thing. All right, so it should be a total of, the, it should be a total of five double crochets plus the chain three, the beginning chain three. Now we're gonna continue and make a granny stitch all around here and let's have some fun. So in order to do that, we're going to skip two chains and we're gonna place three doubles in the next. So let's just keep going all around guys. Let's skip this one and this one and then place three in the next. All the way around guys, it's very simple. I like to do these simple fun projects because they're great for baby showers, if you found any family members who have a baby or especially a baby girl on the way, it is so great to make something like this up for a handmade gift. And um, and again, we're gonna skip the next two. We're just gonna continue this pattern. Skip two, and then three doubles in the next, okay? Again, it's just great to have, um, you know, be able to bless someone in the family with a handmade gift. All right, that's all we're doing. All right, we're just gonna keep doing that, guys, okay? Skip two, 
skip this one, skip this one, place three in this one. If you ever need any help with a double crochet, I do have a tutorial on how to do the double crochet. You're gonna yarn over, insert into your stitch, yarn over, pull up one loop, yarn over, draw through two, yarn over, and draw through the last two. I do have a tutorial on that. I can place it here, I'll place it for you guys so you can have that tutorial. And we're gonna continue going around, okay? Let's keep going, guys. You can make these in multiple colors, guys. For today's tutorial, I will be using one color, but feel free to use different color schemes. There's so many beautiful color schemes out there. So many beautiful color schemes. Let me know what kind of color schemes that you would like to use or that you will use for your pattern or for your baby poncho. Again, let's keep going. Don't forget to join my crochet group on Facebook. You're more than welcome to join. It is called Creatively Created Crocheters. And everybody is welcome, guys, okay? So again, we just wanna go ahead and keep skipping two and then placing three doubles in the next. There's not gonna be any chains in between, guys. We're just skipping, that's all we're doing. Really, really simple. Hope you are enjoying this pattern. I would love for you to share me your work. Share it with me on my Instagram at Creatively Creative Crochet as well. And you can also purchase any of my patterns. I love to do these free tutorials as well. Alrighty, so let's see how many we have here. We want to continue going until we have a total of eight extra here. I'm gonna make sure. I need to do a count job really quickly because we want to make sure we have this all the way figured out. And we want to make sure we have eight clusters of three crochet. Not counting these, the counter, the corner, I should say. We're not counting the corner, but we're going to count these. And we should have eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So we have seven. And we want to go and do one more. Skip the next two and three doubles to the next. All right, three doubles to the next, guys. All right, that's our last double. Now we're going to skip the next two and we're going to do another corner. All right, this particular poncho is only going to have two corners one in the front and one in the back, or one or two points. Maybe I should call them points. This poncho is only going to have two points. So we're going to do three doubles here. We're going to chain two. And then we're going to do three doubles in the same exact spot. That's all we're going to do. This poncho is super easy and super fun. And it's a great gift. So we have our second point. Now this poncho is only going to have two points just because this is for a newborn or zero to three months. And we don't want it to be too bulky on the baby. We want it to fit really nice and where the baby will look like it's wearing a beautiful poncho and not just being draped with a big, huge garment, you know, where sometimes the, the points add increase. And so with a newborn, we don't need much increase, okay? We need a little bit, minimal increase is great for a newborn or zero to three months. You don't need a big, huge, bulky poncho for the newborn, okay? So let's skip the next two and then let's continue on. All right, let's skip the next two and then do three doubles in your next chain. Again, this is our same pattern that we've been doing from the very beginning. We just wanna make sure we have those points because those points are pivotal <laughs> in this pattern. I don't know if you ever make baby items. I love making baby items, guys. Baby shoes, baby ponchos, baby cardigans, baby summer sets. All those things are some of my favorites. Where are some of your favorite things to make? And also, what is your favorite hook to use? I've been falling in love with the J hook, which is six millimeter. I used to always love my H, which is my five millimeter, but I've been using a lot of my uh, six millimeter lately. But I've also been falling in love with uh, my five, my four millimeter, 
in my 3.5. I don't know, guys. <laughs> I have so many favorites. It's kind of hard to, uh, you know, say which one is my favorite. But just keep going all the way down, guys. That's all you're going to do. You're going to skip two. All right, skip two. And three in the next. All the way down. Skip two. And three in the next. All the way down. It's really easy. Really fun. I just love doing this, guys. Let's keep going all the way down. Don't forget, I do have a craft hour. It's called Craft Hour Triple C. Comes on 9:30 a.m. Eastern, and it's a craft. So you guys can check out my banner on the homepage, and you'll see my schedule and some fun click clickable links at the bottom right corner of my banner, where you can find ways to reach me. All right, and so let's keep on going all the way down um, into the last four stitches, four chains, and we're gonna skip two. All right, we're done. Let's see how many we have here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, skip the last two, and let's go into the next. All right, and we want to do our three. One. Two. And three. All right, just like so, and we're going to join to the first stitch, the chain three, the beginning chain three. All right, and we want it to be even, so we have eight on each side, and then we have our points. It should look like this, guys. This is what you should be having for our first row. Now, after we do our first row, guys, we are going to, if you're changing colors, you can just stop here if you want, and then you can join here and take your chain to space. But if you're gonna be like me and do a solid color, you'll just slip stitch over, okay? I'm gonna see if I can zoom in just a tad bit more for you guys if you wanna see exactly what I'm talking about. Let me take it down. What you'll do is you will slip stitch over into that stitch here. Slip stitch over to the next. And then slip stitch into your space, the change of space. This is the second row and this is gonna be the same row you're gonna continue until you get your desired length. All right guys, so after you slip stitch over, you're gonna change three. And then you're going to do two double crochets, one double, two double, chain two, and then do your three doubles again, okay? Three double crochets. All right, guys, that's all you're going to do. In, every, in both points, you're gonna do your three double, chain two, three doubles, and then every space here, you're going to work three double crochets. That's all you're gonna do, guys. It's super simple. You're just gonna work three double crochets in every space all the way around. Okay? All the way around. And this is super, super easy to do. All right, and that's just going to be in all these spaces. If you notice, we have space here, spaces here, spaces here. And that's where we're placing the three double crochets. All right, so we have one, we have two, and we have three. All the way around, guys. I'll be back when we get down to the next point. All right guys, so we're back and we are at the second point. We're just going to do the same exact thing by placing three double crochets. Chain two. And three double crochets. We're just gonna kind of do the same exact thing to create a point. And every row, we're going to do the same exact thing. All the way around, we're going to do three doubles in every space. 
And then we're going to place three doubles, chain two, three doubles, and both points. All right, that's what we're gonna do all the way around. And we're going to continue this, all right? Until we get to the very end. When we get down to the end, guys, we're going to join with a slip stitch to the top of this beginning chain three. All right, and then we're going to slip stitch over until our middle chain, just like we did when we started, and then begin. So again, continue going on, guys, until we have a complete um, amount of 11 rows. All right, so keep going, guys, and I'll be back at the end of the 11 rows, and I can't wait to see what yours looks like, and I'll be back shortly, guys. All right, guys, so we're back, and we have a total of 11 rows, and this is what it should look like. If you are where I am at, this is what you should get. So we're going to we're going to glamour it up a little bit, add a little twist to it, and we're going to add a nice little scallop edge, and we're going to put a trim around the neck. That's how we're going to finish it. So you can do that just like me. You can switch up the color. You can keep it the same, however you want to do it. And at the end, if you want to add a pom-pom, you can do so much with this amazing poncho. You, the sky's the limit. But today, we won't be working on the pom-poms. We'll just do the scalloped edge, and we'll do the neck edging. And I'll let you guys get out of here. But again, I would love to see how you come up, what you all come up with. I would love to see how it comes out. Please join my crochet group. I have all that information in my About tab, in my description box of this video. And don't forget also, to make sure you, um, you know, share your work on Instagram. Tag me on Instagram. I would love to be tagged. So again, we're going to just slip stitch over into our chain two space right in the center, guys. Okay, let me go and zoom in a little bit more so you can see just a little bit more of what we're doing. Now that you know where we're working, we're going to be working all along the bottom edging. And then we're going to go back up to the neck after this, okay? So let's get down into this bottom edge. All right, so we are in the center. We're working toward the center. Okay, just like so. And now we're gonna chain three. And we're going to place eight double crochets here. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, let's see. We have two, four, six, eight, and nine. So if you count your chain three, it'll be a total of nine. All right, so again, we have that there. Our next space we want to do a slip stitch. All right, so if you wanna do a slip stitch, you can do a slip stitch or a single crochet. All right, it depends on what you wanna do. I know everybody has their own preference. Okay, let me go ahead and do my double again. If you don't know how to do a slip stitch, what you'll do is you'll insert your hook, yarn over, and just pull through, just like so. And you're, or you can do a single crochet. If you wanna help with a single crochet, it depends on what you want to do. You would insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, and then you would do a single crochet. So it's up to you, entirely up to you, whether you wanna do a single crochet or a slip stitch. All right, I'll leave the single crochet there, and the next space we'll do eight, we'll do seven, seven double crochet. One, two, Three, four, five, six, and seven. So you have seven, guys. And again, you can do your slip stitch next to it, or you can do a single crochet. Now, depending on what you want to do, a, a slip stitch kind of helps to 
quote kind of helps to define your scallop a bit more than compared to a single crochet. It just depends on what you would like to see, okay? So again, we slip stitch in the next one, the next space. After you do your seven crochets, seven double crochets, you wanna find your next space and you wanna slip stitch or single crochet, whatever one you choose to do. And then the next space, you wanna do seven. So we're alternating seven double crochets and a slip stitch into each space. All right, we got three. We got four. We got five. We got six. And we have seven. Next, we're going to slip stitch. It's the next space. See, that's exactly what we're doing. Look at that, guys. Look at the detail of that and how it's just really changing the plain poncho into something really delicious. All right, and we're going to continue that all the way down. All right, guys, I'll meet you back again um, at the other point. We'll meet you back here, and uh, we'll just keep alternating. Again, guys, we're going to do seven double crochets here, which is three. This is four. This is five. This is six. And this is seven. And then we're going to slip stitch in the next space. All right? So again, just do that all the way around, and then we'll be back, and uh, I'll meet you at my next point. Okay, guys? So see you in a second. We'll be back again. This is what it should look like so far. All right, look at that delicious edging. Oh my gosh, it looks beautiful. All right, so we'll be back, and uh, I'll meet you at the next point. Alrighty, guys, so we're back, and we are reaching our second point. So I just slipped stitch right before I reached it, and I'm gonna go ahead and do nine here. Because in the, in the points, which are the corners, we wanna just do, we wanna actually do um, nine here. And the remainder uh, side stitches We'll do a total of seven. So we have four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So that's how it's gonna look. We're gonna slip stitch in the next space. In the next space, we're gonna work seven. Just like we did along the other side, guys. All right, that's all we're doing. We're doing the same exact thing. Nothing any different. Two. Three. I'm curious to see what yarn you're gonna use for this. The schemes that you're gonna use. I like to use this Karen Simply Soft. I know I have a lot of family and friends who do not like Karen Simply Soft, but I definitely like it because of the softness. Four. This is five. This is six, and this is seven. I like the feeling of it. When I'm working on certain projects, especially garments, I like to have things that are great to feel. You know, something that are soft to the touch. That way I don't have to worry about cutting my fingertips or, you know, all the pain that you can get. Certain yarns are really rough on the skin, guys. So again, we're just gonna continue going with a seven double crochets in one space, and in the next, we'll do a slip stitch. And we're gonna continue that all the way down. And then we're going to join with a slip stitch. I'll meet you back at the end where we're gonna join with the slip stitch here, snip it off, and then we're going to finish up with this neck border. I'll be right back, guys. All right, so for the neck edge, guys, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start a little bit downward from the center. We're gonna skip the center stitches, skip the next space in the next stitch, and work into the next stitch or the next space. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and join here with a slip stitch. Alright, so let's just go ahead and join y'all yarn over, do your slip knot, however you like to join in your new yarn. I kind of just do a join, I do a slip knot here, and then I join with a slip with a slip stitch like that. And then I do a chain one. And then I'm gonna do two single crochets in the space. So when you reach these spaces, we'll want to do two 
single crochets in the space, okay guys? And then when you reach one of these stitches or one of these clusters, we wanna just single crochet in the top. Now if you're unsure how to do a single crochet, what you'll do is insert your hook, your yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over and draw through both of those loops. And then you'll do the same thing in this chain two space. Single crochet two of those. You wanna put two in each space around. Then you wanna put one single in the top of that. In this part, you wanna do two. One and two. In this one, you wanna do one. In the space, you wanna do two. One and two. In the top of that, you wanna do one. In the space, you wanna do two. Really easy, y'all. Top, you'll do one. Spaces, you'll do two. And this is just gonna help with that neckline, guys. We wanna just create a nice neckline so that way it can give it a finished look. Do you all have to do a single crochet to finish your work? How do you finish your work? Do you like to leave it as is, or what do you like to do? So again, we're just gonna continue all the way around with that. All right? Oops, let's stay here. Okay, so in the stitch right before we reach our center, this is our center, guys. So we're only gonna put one here first, okay? Just put one single crochet into, instead of doing your two. And now we're going to actually decrease. We're gonna do three single crochets together. So how you do that is insert your hook into your space just like you're doing a normal single crochet. Your yarn over, pull up a loop. Now we're gonna go into the center because we wanna work over these three center spots. This spot, this spot, and this spot. Now we're gonna insert here again, just like we did before. Yarn over, pull up a loop. We should now have three. And now we wanna work in this space. We are going to insert, yarn over, pull up a loop, and now we should have four. And we're going to just yarn over again and draw through all four loops, okay? Just like so. That's all we're gonna do and both points. And then we're gonna do one, another single crochet in that same space because that's where we wanna make sure we have two of them in there, okay? So let's keep going all the way around, putting another one in the top here, and then two in this space. We wanna put one in the top, and then two in this space. All the way around, one in the top, and then two in this space. And if the corner confused you, don't worry, we'll come back to it. One in this space and one in the top. Two in this space. One in the top. Two in this space. One in the top. Okay and two in this space. Okay. One in the top, and then two in this space. One in the top, okay? Now, we're getting back into our, our center again. So make sure you put one in the starter, for starters. And now we're gonna work over the spaces. Let's Insert, yarn over, pull up a loop. Now let's work in the center space. Insert, yarn over, pull up a loop. We should have three loops on the hook. Now let's work on the second, let's work on the last one. Let's insert, yarn over, pull up a loop. Now we should have our four. We're gonna yarn over, put in, draw through all four. And then we're gonna put one more single crochet into that stitch same space and we're gonna finish with the single in the top of that one here okay and that's going to be our last one and then we're gonna join the slip stitch to the very beginning single crochet all right so this is our very beginning remember we started here guys so just yarn over slip stitch just like so 
and then we can just snip our end. Okay, let's snip the end. Let's get it done. Let's yarn over, kind of pull it through a couple times. I kind of yarn over multiple times so that way I can just always weave in my ends. All those amazing things, weaving it in. I'll weave those in with my yarn needle. Okay. And all that fun stuff. I'll just I'll tuck those all in. I'll weave them in in a second. But this is what it's going to look like. All right, guys. This is what your finished object should look like, guys. Okay. Again, I would love to see you guys add your pom poms. If you want to weave in a nice little um, something around the neck, you can. You really don't have to. Uh, it's going to be perfect for the baby's neck. It's a really nice size. You can just add a little bit of something here. If you wanted to chain a couple chains and let a little pom-pom dangle or put a little, uh, if you wanted to make a few cute little flowers, maybe make a couple flower appliques and sew them on nicely, those would be great as well. I would love to see your colors, guys. This is actually going to be getting shipped out. Um, and I'm excited to see exactly uh, the little one where this is going to be super cute. I hope you guys like this. Very quick poncho. Um, very, very beginner friendly. Hope you guys really enjoy it. Let me know in the comments if you guys will make it. Share with me in my crochet group. Follow me on social media. And uh, I would like to see what your final objects look like, guys. I hope you really enjoyed this time. And again, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, love ya.